Now that you have a better understanding of what Collab is and Magenta is, it's time to use your first Magenta model, Onsets and Frames. This model will allow you to convert audio files into MIDI files. And why is this important? Let me show you. In order to explain why you need the Onsets and Frames models, I will first discuss the differences between audio and symbolic representation in music. After that, I will introduce you the Onsets and Frames models, and then you'll watch a live demo of the model, so after that you can go and use it in Collab by yourself. Music can be represented in many ways. For instance, a visual representation of music could be the handcrafted score of a musician in the 18th century. Nowadays, computers also have different ways to represent music. Let me explain you more about audio and symbolic representation of music. Audio representation is a representation of the acoustic sound wave. Imagine a musician that you record while playing the piano with your cell phone. You have now a file that represents the sound wave of the performance and you can hear it on your device. On the other hand, a symbolic representation is when you give the computer the instructions of the music you want to hear. These instructions can include the virtual instrument you want to use, the pitch and duration of the sounds, known as the notes, and so on. For example, here I'm showing you a piano roll that has information about the pitch and duration of each sound. Compare it with the wave on the left, that is an audio representation, a recording of a middle C in the piano. To make a loosely analogy, think about a poem. You can have a file of a person declaiming the poem, audio representation, or a text file with the words of the poem, symbolic representation. Formats of audio include WAV or MP3 files, which you may have heard of. For symbolic representation, you have MIDI or MUSIXML formats, among others. When you work with audio files, you have a representation of the real sound, the sound wave. But these are very large files with lots of information, so it's common to extract features out of it, like spectrograms or log spectrograms. On the other hand, when you work with the symbolic representation of a piece of music, you don't have the representation of the sound wave, but it is less daunting to work with. In generative models of machine learning, you can work with both raw audio, for instance, Jukebox works this way, or its symbolic form, as the Magenta Transformer model you are going to use in the next video. In general, working with symbolic music is easier for training generative models and for human manipulation. You will use the transformer model, which works with a symbolic form of music, specifically MIDI, and you may or may not have a MIDI file of your favorite piano music. But don't worry, you could use Magenta to get the MIDI file you need. Let me give you a brief overview of onsets and frames. This model lets you transcribe piano music from a WAV file to MIDI, which is not a trivial task. Humans need a lot of training to achieve this properly. This model was trained on the Maestro dataset, a huge dataset of more than 172 hours of virtuosic piano performances with great alignment between the note labels and the waveforms. Basically, the team at Magenta trained the model by taking the waveform, then extracting the log-mail spectrogram, and those experts in digital signal processing may have heard about this term, but don't worry if you don't know it, and then they split the node detection into two stacked neural networks, one for detecting the first moment of the nodes, the onsets, and the other for detecting every moment where the node was active, the frames. Imagine someone playing the piano, the onsets part of the model is in charge of detecting the information about the first moment of the music event, say when the musician pressed a key, and Frames is in charge of detecting how long the note was active, the musician holding that key. As a side note, Onsets and Frames comes also with an option for drums. Ok, enough theory for now, now to the fun part. Let me show you a live demo of how you can use Onsets and Frames in Collab. This is our second demo, by now you should have completed Lesson 0, taking the first quiz and set up the Magenta environment. So please go to lesson one, and after watching this video, complete the second quiz, 
and after that you need to run these cells so let's do it together first initialize the model and it's going to take some time so please wait now after it's done you're going to see some warning and info messages you can ignore them now you can click in audio upload please select a file i'm going to select a colombian piano music a WAV. remember that it has to be a WAV file this file is called pinocho and then click on open and it's going to take some time until it's loaded now it's done you can see here 100 percent done and you can also verify that by clicking here in your files and you're you're going to see the file that you uploaded so uh, remember that it has to be a WAV file mp3 or other audio files won't work and now we're ready to run inference so please go ahead and click on run inference where magenta is going to actually convert this file into MIDI it's going to take some time so please be patient and now it's ready so we can hear the MIDI file It's great work. I want you to compare it with the original file that I have it right here. So now we have a MIDI file that it's easier to manipulate and it's easier also for generative models. And if you want, you can download also the MIDI file by clicking here on this button. And you can uh, open it. I'm going to open it with MuseScore, which is also free software. I opened here the MIDI file, and as you can see, here are the notes, and we have now a symbolic representation of the audio file. So let's hear it one last time. Great work. So you can also check here on your files that you have now a new file that it's called prediction.mit so this is it for this demo let me wrap up this video by highlighting the most important information you need to remember first the difference between audio and symbolic representation in music and second how you can use onsets and frames to convert WAV files into MIDI now it's your time to use the model, so please select a WAV file of piano that you really liked and convert it to MIDI using the provided collab. And if you don't have a WAV file, you can get one from a YouTube video using an online converter. So please go ahead and I'll see you in the next and last video of this series.